Good morning. Thank you for staying Y254. Ah, please, good morning. If you're just joining us for the first time ever, my name is Valentine or at Color Me Val. But come on, Dwayze, my nail. You know what to do with that interaction line that is at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. It is a very beautiful Monday morning. Nothing blue about it. However, it is now time to get into politics and the state of the nation. Fun fact, I'd never thought I'd be interested in politics, but here we are. We just had a very interesting conversation with Stephanie Ayeta, and it was all about career. So what I've taken at home what I have taken home from it is the difference between your career and your passion. And your passion can make you money or cannot make you money, but your career is who you are and where you are comfortable at. If you missed it, don't worry. Small snippets of it will be uploaded, of course, on your favorite YouTube channel. That is Y254. Hi, yeah. So, so with all this, remember, my heart is still paining because one liter of fuel, 195 shillings. 0.53 cents. But that's neither here nor there. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Buana musio go politics ku smile, eh? You can smile now. We cannot smile because in the current situation, when you smile, even the the chief hustler can tax you for smiling. So the situation is so tough. I was just telling my colleague, we, yeah. we should hurry up and think while we can because yes. they might tax us for thinking. Yes. Yeah. Very soon. So we are living uh, in a worried uh, country. Maybe, let's hope, but we don't have hope now because uh, <laughs> the hope has gone. Let's hope, but we don't have hope <laughs> we now. We don't have hope now. Okay, before all that, please introduce yourselves and I'll start with the lovely lady. What is your good name? Uh, my name's uh, Gentrix mm -hmm. Shamim Juma. Mm -hmm. I'm humbled to be here. Karibu sana. Asante. And you are, sir? Yeah, I'm Bill Clinton Ndete. Mm -hmm. I'm a politician, mm -hmm. I'm a medical doctor, and I'm also an activist. All of all those three? All of those three. So I don't know which one the hustler will tax and leave me with the, the other one. Simwite sana, nezasha TV at one. Awezi. We have freedom of, of expression because of the current st state of our country. Uh -huh. We just have to, to tell him the, everything on point blank so that he knows maybe those people who are surrounding him I'm not telling the exact situation on the ground. I'm going to take that comment and, and connect it with another thought I had. And please feel free to tell me what you think. Yeah. Please also remember that all these comments are, are individual. Eh? Yes. Yes. This is not a reflection of the station. But I am very curious because you said that we have freedom of speech, right? And uh, while the finance bill has been making headlines for some time now, I actually thought it would be quite over after he signed it. <laughs> and, you know, 1st July has come and gone and it hasn't been implemented. Again, plot twist, that is politics. You have now the high court involved and a lot of just things going on. So we're all holding our breath and trying to figure out what's going on. But it did make me, I, I want to say, I was intrigued. When he went, to, and this is His Excellency, he went ahead to say that this is the first time I've, a finance bill has been discussed by Monan Shikama Sisi Wanjiro Kama Mimi. That's not my name, but that's, you know, you get yeah. it. So th this is the first time the finance bill has been discussed so extensively. Nastakata? story, and prominently is the housing levy and the VAT going doubling, Double. yes, from 8% to 16%. Lakini, sikuna mahali alisema, let me see who will not sign it off in parliament. Small, small, sounded like a threat. So is that really freedom of speech? Is he really being transparent? You see, at that one, he, he wasn't intimidating them, but uh, what I can say, you, you see, he's the party leader of the ruling party. So he needs to consolidate his troops mm -hmm. together. The same way our very good uh, former prime minister did it. Mm -hmm. He summoned even those who didn't who did vote, who supported the bill. Mm -hmm. So that is means you are trying to know who is with you mm -hmm. and who is not with you. And you see, this is a government mm -hmm. and it's the president. Mm -hmm. You see, so uh, whichever little or mistake he makes mm -hmm. from the parliament, it will cost him a lot. So he has to put everything in order to make sure that he's still controlling the, his numbers, mm -hmm. being the majority mm -hmm. in the National Assembly. Okay. So that was one, just one way of telling the people that, uh -huh. my friend, 
if you don't move the way I'm sup we are supposed to move as a government, it uh -huh. means you are not in the government, you are supporting the opposition. <laughs> Please feel free to speak out. I agree with what he's saying, indeed, that you, of course, because the government and the opposition, and they, they're not supposed to be the same. They're yeah. not supposed yes. to be the same at all. Yeah. However, as a member of parliament or as a delegate, if I'm going to make a vote, should I not be doing it on behalf of the people who voted me in versus Mukubuangu? Am I upon a conflict? As a conflict, mm. it should be exactly speaking on behalf of the people who voted uh, uh, the leaders mm -hmm. in, because uh, they are the voice, mm -hmm. not the echo. They represent the voice of the common Mananchi mm -hmm. who had uh, selected them. Despite of different opinions uh, that were there amongst the leaders mm -hmm. and the indifference amongst them mm -hmm. about the, f uh, the bill, also internalizing, uh, which is uh, difficult, on the double of the tax mm -hmm. for the one inches to adapt to it, mm -hmm. uh, they could have considered and initiated uh, mm -hmm. a protocol of a timeline uh, of allowance to make the common one inches to feel comfortable with it and to adapt. Because mm -hmm. either way, uh, a country will only flourish uh, depending on the tax should be that is true mm. yeah so but isn't that ta sorry for interrupting but isn't the tax supposed to work for us for example if you go to <coughs> the americas the united states of america has a system where if you're unemployed you get unemployed benefits you go for a check after every month simply because you know the the system that they have designed their tax is working for them mm -hmm. there is social security you see the problem. Mimi uh, na taxi watu bwana. You see the the problem with our country. Mm -hmm. You know you cannot move from a third world country to a first or second world country mm -hmm. with miracles. Mm -hmm. In a day. In a day. Rome was not built. So even if it, you tax everything, mm -hmm. even if you tax the water people are drinking, you are not going to make Kenya a Singapore mm -hmm. or Kenya the the France. You see. Mm -hmm. So these taxes are. Uh, you see, also when you make taxes, mm -hmm. you need to consider the current economic strength. Mm -hmm. We just from the COVID pandemic, thank you for which bringing affected that up. everything. Mm. You see, we have not healed yet. Mm -hmm. Now you're also coming up with the the VAT and the taxes on um, imposing mm -hmm. on the people. You see, these people, some majority of them lost jobs during the COVID pandemic. Now, mm -hmm. even some have never been restored back to their working. Mm -hmm. Majority of the people of the Kenyans now are jobless. Mm -hmm. You see, and then now you're bringing also the tax. And then when you increase the like, like the fuel levy, mm -hmm. the the VAT on the tax from eight to sixteen, mm -hmm. you know, f petrol and this, the diesel and everything, they're the ones that control everything. Mm -hmm. When you, you increase the VAT on petrol, be sure that the fare of the matatus will hike. And the food prices. The now food prices yes. because they are need to, to be effect. transported from the from mm -hmm. the from the farming from the farms to the market. Mm -hmm. They are using. Vi these vehicles. Mm -hmm. So the fuel is high. Mm -hmm. Also the transportation rate will be high. Very How high. do you expect these people now to get food at, at, a, at a, maybe at a lower level mm -hmm. when the fuel is high? Even mm -hmm. we, the people who are in this tr transportation sector also suffering mm -hmm. and they have no other option to do mm -hmm. but to increase and hike the fares mm -hmm. and those charges for the need. So we cannot tax everything and we cannot live in a taxing country it will be it is so painful for the citizens and, mm -hmm. and then maybe when i recall back sometimes back during the campaign mode last year mm -hmm. our president told us he'll do away he will reduce the fuel mm -hmm. now is he reducing it or is doing it the opposite side far as, as much i can say maybe majority of the things he said last mm -hmm. during his campaign time i think whatever he said th those days mm -hmm. he's doing the opposite one mm -hmm. you see He's, in fact, he used to say he will in, it reduce. Uh, he is not going to make a position for the for the riches. He's mm -hmm. going to work with the mamambogas and boda boda. <laughs> now there's no boda boda anywhere. Mm -hmm. The boda boda is the ones who are suffering mm -hmm. because when you hike the, the you, in, you, you in put more taxes, mm -hmm. who are the who are the most majority suffering? Mm -hmm. The mamambogas, the boda bodas, mm -hmm. the local mwanainchi, not this bazoo who work with the VA, the fuel guzzlers. <laughs> you see, so. Okay. I think uh, as a country, uh -huh. we, are we are not heading in there. As much as we want to raise our own tax, we mm -hmm. are not heading in the good direction. 
because yeah, a, mm. it is pain. You see, when you, you it's only you who knows where the, your shoe pains. Mm. So the it's only the one who knows. For mm -hmm. them, they are even living because they they want to tax us so that they can move around the country, mm -hmm. also giving us false promises mm -hmm. each day and night. So what? let me and, uh, <coughs> please do. Or oh, when the bill was being discussed mm -hmm. upon before voting, uh, fuel has been the major topic. Mm -hmm. The increase of fuel, because it's like the neutrality of everything mm -hmm. uh, that runs in the country. Uh, the way it has been increased uh, double from 8% to 16%. Um, uh, it will make it uh, hard for access and transportation of commodities. Mm -hmm. There will be a hiked fair prices, which have already begun. Mm -hmm. uh, did did uh, other leaders in there look into consideration of the oil which was identified in Trukana mm -hmm. and their out solution or come up together also to make uh, the government understand mm -hmm. and uh, also put it in consideration after internalizing the opinions of going back to Trukana mm -hmm. identifying more about the oil mm -hmm. which was discovered there. That's very you smart. Need to it happened to the I want to tell my ago. sister here. Mm. Talo oil in Nakur in, in Trukana is not working. You see, the, the people who are given the contract left the country. So as as <laughs> it is now, yes. all over again. But so <laughs> but <that laughs> the investors had to go. To Their contract mm -hmm. came to an end. Mm -hmm. You see, this thing was signed during the Kibaki era. Mm -hmm. So the contract came to an end and they had to leave. So they, currently there is no anyone who has been given that that contract again for the tallow oil in Trukana. You see, and then also in Kenya, the tallow oil can only be successful mm -hmm. if we deal with the cartels in this field. Mm -hmm. You see, corruption is the one that is killing. Even if you bring investors for the tallow oil, we used to get oil, the, the oil from Trukana all the way to, they were making a tunnel all the way to Mombasa. Why are they taking it to Mombasa? Yet that oil can be defined in, in Trukana and be supplied to the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. It is being taken to Mombasa so that the cartels get out with the, the, the bigger slot of it, mm -hmm. they export it to other countries, and then they leave us with the, the rejects one. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we all need to work with the cartels. As much as we are trying to say that this country needs to move forward, it cannot move forward because the cartels have hijacked every system. That's why even the cartels will decide who who is supposed to be to give, be given that uh, tallow oil contract? Mm -hmm. So, I think we, as a country, me, what I can only say, you see, this one, she's an aspiring politician. Hold it. What do you think, first, on that point before we continue? Uh, what if it will be put into consideration by, t by creating a platform mm -hmm. of applications for people who are going to be in charge mm -hmm. in Trukana mm -hmm. in conducting the further process? Mm -hmm. uh, of how oil can be extracted, transported, uh, maybe taking in also uh, labor mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. uh, they will put a platform, they can put a platform where applicants to be in charge of the uh, oil management in Trukana identification process. Mm -hmm. They will put a motivation in that um, people with the logic mm -hmm. and uh, problem solving of the solution to retain uh, retain the oil that uh, will be extracted from there. Mm -hmm. uh, the people in charge will be in a position to will agree to be in a position to be answerable and held accountable. Uh, of the progress uh -huh. that is to be conducted for a success. I, I really like you that you brought up that word accountability. And let's let's shift a little bit, still on the same topic, where we have EPRA of, okay, small, small backstory. 
finance bill was signed, I think, on the, either the 26th or the 28th by the president. So that was supposed to be effective from the 1st of July. We are now on the third day of July. And it was halted only by the high court because, you know, they need to hear the case first. So now, <laughs> EPRE has decided, yeah, the Energy Regulatory Commission of Kenya has decided they will still hike the fuel prices. What do you think is going on there? Okay, on my side, uh, I think uh, we need to, uh, I think the, our president said uh, judici judiciary is an independent institution. Mm -hmm. And when they issue something like those orders barring them to con to to allow the finance bill mm. to be implemented, mm -hmm. they were supposed to, the IP, IP, IPRA was, was supposed to adhere to it. Mm. Because IPRA is a parastatal, mm -hmm. and that's government. So, if then they continue to hike the fuel prices against the Second court day. order, mm -hmm. against the court order, they have breached the, the rule, mm -hmm. the rule of law. Because uh, it means also the, maybe the other fine, the other uh, taxes are also being implemented by the same government because maybe the government is the one that, that was supposed to advise the APRA please mm -hmm. because this, this order that has been issued by the court mm -hmm. after the senator for Busia Okio Mtata went to the court mm -hmm. this please hold on until the 5th mm -hmm. of July when the case will be heard and determined mm -hmm. so for them going ahead and implementing the 16% VAT hike on the fuel, mm -hmm. then they breached the... Do you think they're preempting? Do you think they already know something we don't? That they perhaps know, you're yes. complaining, but... Of course, uh, they know after... Uh, there is, there's no way the finance bill will be stopped. Mm -hmm. If you very keen on, uh, like yesterday and today, in the newspaper, there's a place where that uh, the Okiom Tata, the senator for Obusia, mm -hmm. had acquired some paper from the Speaker of the National... for, for the Senate. Mm -hmm. So now those papers have been withdrawn. Mm -hmm. So it means his case doesn't have any heavy heavyweight. So probably the finance bill will mm -hmm. be will continue to be implemented after fifth. So because the only document he was depending on was that letter from the Speaker of the Senate. Mm -hmm. Now that letter has been withdrawn. Mm -hmm. So meaning the case doesn't have a, they doesn't have enough evidence or maybe what I can say maybe because I'm not a lawyer mm -hmm. evidence to support mm -hmm. what is pushing fighting back in the mm -hmm. in the court so probably the it will just be implemented I don't know what's heavier the the, the court hearing on Wednesday <laughs> or Monday man or Friday Saba Saba so, it's a very heavy week wow okay what do you think um, I think uh, the court has the power. Mm -hmm. to write for an injunction to the IPRA mm -hmm. uh, to pull back uh, the increase of fuel price. At and best, if, it would be for a day. Mm. If they don't uh, adhere to it, mm -hmm. uh, the court has the power to summon them mm -hmm. and keep them on hold. And the court also has the power to publish uh, or write a notice to the citizens mm -hmm. uh, and the fuel operations. To, to put it on hold, mm -hmm. so yeah, we can't put a uh, uh, blame game to the court either because mm -hmm. it has the power, mm -hmm. and uh, we can't put a doubt also to IPRA mm -hmm. that they, they, there's something they know that we don't know. Because mm -hmm. uh, also, as citizens, we can't insinuate uh, what we don't know that IPRA IPRA knows that we don't know, and mm -hmm. they have gone ahead with it. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, accountability lies on the court because it has the power. Again with the and accountability. And then yeah, in addition yeah. to that, you uh -huh. see, just even maybe today I'm very much sure mm -hmm. we shall have another case being filed in the court against IPRA. Hold it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. because the IPRA acted against the court mm. orders. Yeah. So, so they breached the court orders. So I'm very much sure today the senator for Busia or any another person will present a case today mo this morning mm -hmm. in the court of law mm -hmm. or in the high court about com issuing orders about the the mm -hmm. Ipra. Mm -hmm. So we are Just going to have to a yes. So we are going to have uh. a fight of uh, between the government and the the people and the courts. Those show is called a Vitimbire week. Yes. <laughs> So wow, a bit in rare week. Yes, and then after <laughs> that we also are going to Mandamano. So I think this week is a very hard week for the Kenyans, and that we are still fighting for hard economic times. 
So Another thing I've seen <coughs> on today's newspaper, the People Daily, is uh, I, I don't know now. I'm not particularly too confident because I don't have the paper with me right now. But I think there's an activist, or just something is happening, and that is taking uh, the president's decision to hire. Tw Technically, the constitution gives him the right to have 23 cabinet secretaries. For some reason, he added 27 more. Total, 50. Mm -hmm. So when he was defending himself, he said he needs more hands and minds to run this particular government. But let me tell you one thing. <laughs> He's just been waiting for me to ask. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. Uh -huh. First of all, the president breached the uh -huh. law. He went against the law. Mm -hmm. He went against the law in terms of now rewarding his loyalist and uh, the, the rejects for the 2022 elections. Mm -hmm. I can call them so. <laughs> because when you see, we don't, need that, we don't need 50 CAs, uh -huh. cabinet administrative secretaries. Mm. We, only, we have already a chief accountant of our ministry, who is the PS. Mm -hmm. You see, we have a, a cabinet secretary. Why do we, why do we need that two cabinet, two cabinet administrative secretaries for a ministry or three? Mm. You see? Why could he just maybe take what you see? If because these CAs are not going to be uh, accountants for the for the ministry, you see, mm -hmm. they are only going to be there like PAs mm -hmm. for the CAs. Wow! You see, if CS tells him, "I want you to go and present me, represent me in that function," ah, uh, go. Goes. He or she will go. Uh -huh. You see, they are not going to. Which, what, which, what they are going just to do? They are going to waste taxes. And that's why you are seeing we are being high, the taxes are being high so that they can finance their their salaries. Mm -hmm. You see, yet in this uh, high economic times, I don't know where the president who advises the president, because these fifty CAs, mm -hmm. each and every of them, I can tell you they are not going to be paid below maybe eight hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. They they are going to be given security With personnel benefits. They are going to be given PAs mm -hmm. being paid by the Monainchi, the taxes Monainchi pays. Transportation. Yes, of course. you see. They are good. They, they are vehicles, the fuel guzzlers, two or three V8s by the government. Mm -hmm. So, why do we need all these people? Mm -hmm. We can even the 23 years are more. Mm -hmm. You can even reduce the number. Mm -hmm. We have to like 22, we have 22 cabinet secretaries. Mm -hmm. We can even give each ministry one CIS mm -hmm. to just to move around the ministry. You see, like Minister of Interior mm -hmm. has two PS. We can get one who should coordinate the two. Mm -hmm. You see, assist the two. In case he's been sent by the interior minister, PS to represent him somewhere, mm -hmm. or the the PS for immigration, you see. So this 50 CAs is just a backlog to the to the, the Kenyans, mm -hmm. yes. And that's why this issue of the taxes they have to raise to raise the the taxes mm -hmm. so that they can they can finance those and pay them there. Mm -hmm. Their salaries and everything. Okay, so as you, as I just you, hope uh, the I, I just hope the court today determination uh -huh. today will uh -huh. overrule it. And I know even if it overrules it, the president will go ahead and implement it. So <laughs> I don't know now. Okay, no, that's again <laughs> sensational <laughs> commenting. <laughs> I, I, I beg to interrupt. As you interrupt, I also want you to bear in mind that we've seen offices of the spouse. Of the, of the prime cabinet <laughs> secretary coming up from nowhere <laughs> and definitely has a budget also. Yes. So just tie it all up and, <laughs> and give me your thoughts. Um, maybe looking on it on a positive side, mm -hmm. but... Uh, I like how positive you are. Uh, <laughs> it, hasn't, it hasn't begun uh, uh, to be seen on the improvements. Uh, for instance, uh, the president uh, also had mentioned that uh, there, there will be an increase mm -hmm. of salaries mm -hmm. for the civil servants. This but same time that two months, two months civil servants have been paid past Easter, <coughs> Sijui, eh, but continue, sorry. Maybe the work will be you never know, <laughs> uh, but... Uh, uh -huh. oh. He had a mention of, of uh, increasing uh, the civil servant salaries, mm -hmm. which include from uh, the highest cat category, also considering the doctors, nurses, and teachers. Mm -hmm. And uh, him mentioning that uh, uh, he's increased the number of uh, PAS or CAS, as you had mentioned. Mm -hmm. Maybe he needs more hands mm -hmm. of accessibility. Uh, with the help of uh, uh, 
uh, outsourcing resources timely and also ensuring uh, there will be minimal mm -hmm. of unnecessary maybe strikes like for the t teachers doctors, and doctors that have been previously mm -hmm. maybe he wants to curb it and has begun the initiative of adding more uh, PS, CAS, but uh, he may later on come into explanation mm -hmm. uh, through the fruitfulness of uh, the minimal uh, strikes uh, that previously have been there. Mm -hmm. uh, we can wait and see uh, what he has to do with the, the decision. Mm -hmm. Because already the bill was voted, mm -hmm. he ascended into it, mm -hmm. it is in court. Mm -hmm. So we wait to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, the things of His Excellency have been taken to court a lot more times. It's not even been a year to answer to the elections. <whistles> court in uh -huh. CSS, court in finance bill, court in What else is going to go on? Hey, the court has been busy. It's because uh, everything The halls is, of justice. Uh, it's because everything that he's trying to bring ah, it ah, up. Ah, be careful. Uh -huh. The, everything that is being tried to brought up by the gov Kenya Kwanza government, which I really supported during the last election, mm -hmm. is against the the money. You see, Kenyans, you only need uh, if you just lower the fuel uh, levies uh, mm -hmm. and you reduce the prices of commodities, food commodities, and everything. Mm -hmm. Kenyans are very hardworking people; mm -hmm. they'll not complain. But now you see, a packet of unga is going now for almost two hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. You see. They, are, they told us it will be maybe 100 or 70 or so. Mm -hmm. Even they could just reduce it and maybe come up to around 120, 130, mm -hmm. the way it used to be. Mm -hmm. But now it is 250. You <laughs> go to a, a youth, go to a mjengo, a kijana mm -hmm. like me, go to a mjengo, mm -hmm. he's paid maybe 500 or 600. Mm -hmm. In that 600, he gets 100 to use maybe he, for breakfast there at mjengo and mm -hmm. 50 bob for githeri mm -hmm. or with the chapati mandondo. Pale na soup. for lunch, na soup for yeah. lunch. Supu mingi, by the way, you have very put it very well. So he is remaining with 500. This 500, maybe he used, uh, maybe he comes from, maybe let me say from Kibra and is working here at Ngara. Mm -hmm. Maybe he has to move to foot up to town, then he pick a matatu to Kibra. Mm -hmm. You see, that maybe say 50 bob. His remaining is for 50. Mm -hmm. For 50, he gets a packet of unga. That is to 50. Mm -hmm. He remains with 200. That 200, maybe he needs to get sugar from it or maybe paraffin. Mm -hmm. So what is he remaining with? It means even he's, he has to borrow another one, maybe to get, maybe to, maybe fair to kids to go to school, maybe to do something else. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we just need to be fair with the, the citizens of this country as a country. Okay. I've and then maybe another issue on the, the CAs, uh -huh. uh, because... Uh, the 23 years, you see, this years, if you, if I tell you to analyze for me, you tell me someone who is below that five years, mm -hmm. maybe it's one or two. Yeah. The CAs, if the president wanted to reward and to be loyal to the youth who voted and unanimously for him mm -hmm. during the last election, mm -hmm. he could have preserved the CAs slots for the youth, so that he meant at them that the leadership role now to be in the PAs and the CS. You see, but now when you get also, you find that the youth are not we're nowhere representing that CAS. Mm. Now, we, we fight, start making us as youth to question and start thinking otherwise. Because, <laughs> yes, because it means with the, lead, with the youth, we are not trusted in those govern, government positions. And we have the capability. Okay, I'm yes. just going to cut you off over there and then finish with this because it's tail end of the week. It's, it's Friday. Saba Saba is... Uh, a, when I was trying to explain it without the facts, it's just, I, I've always known it as, as a political day, something that we celebrate politics one way or another. The, the last couple of years, I remember Martha Karua being the front line of that. But technically it started in 1990, and the, the countrywide protests were for um, Neitwa. <laughs> it's just disappeared, wait. Free elections, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> Where yes, so we were allowed to vote and and etc etc. That's where it started from. But you know, every year Saba Saba, th that is the seventh day of the seventh month, is something that's always been earmarked for something political. At the, whatever sensational thing is happening in politics at that time, that's when it really you know gets out there into the public, or that's when the people are called out into action. 
I want to quote unquote that because now the opposition leader uh, during I don't know if it's during the yes during the weekend he also called into action the people I don't know just if they're not feeling the vibe for the financial bill because that's now the the key thing that they're discussing or they're trying to fight if not fight find a different word but that's just what's happening yeah we don't want this they don't want this to go through for whatever reason or the other one being what one of you know but e camping in as a nafinyo to kidogo sai but it will have a wonderful ripple effect so how long do we wait first of all is a question and what do you think is going to happen on that day cuz is is it rate zimeet or rather these monday previous monday and thursday mandamano days have seen i want to say scuffle not really full scale violence but also not just peaceful demonstrations so a scuffle do you think we're going to expect the same on friday uh, most probably mm -hmm. uh, when you call for a public address or uh, with the citizens mm -hmm. as kenyans in kona to siku ya maandamano even uh, i think uh, honorable raila would uh, reach out to the president mm -hmm. William Ruto or uh, vice versa mm -hmm. his excellency William Ruto reach out to baba mm -hmm. for a sit down talk uh discuss about the uh, bill mm -hmm. and the finance reason together mm -hmm. uh in the do's and the don'ts mm -hmm. seek each other's opinions and also put a table for mutual agreement because mm -hmm. if baba calls for a meeting with the citizens about the discussion of the bill mm -hmm. there will be looting mm -hmm. there will be unnecessary uh tear gas uh, maybe unapita barabara ujui kunaenda aje huko ama ujui wakianzia hapo wataelekea wapi ume make point hapo kwa tear gas uh-huh <laughs> and uh, rough roughness among the youth to be specific are we always going to be used as instruments of violence are we always going to be just kuja hapa nikupe 50 bob alafu uende hapo vurugane is that really all we translate to as you it's not the, the wish of the youth to go for those things atwezi fikiria tuseme saki 50 bob yako ama let your 50 bob lakini siendi let me now uh, well, let me tell you one thing huh? as we conclude mm -hmm. the in fact the mandamano thing for me i'm against it mm -hmm. Uh, the reason for Sabasaba, Saba, even you see, we just need to be at least uh, much honest with each, with, with each other. I remember sometimes back, the former prime minister was in government, just like one year ago. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell us to go and riot mm -hmm. or maybe demonstrate mm -hmm. because the 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 food prices were hiking and everything. Mm -hmm. Those that those time, mm -hmm. he was in government. He was so much comfortable. So right now he's telling us you see mandamano cannot solve what we are currently going in as a country mm -hmm. exactly it's only need technocrats these leaders coming together sit together mm -hmm. agree and make something things move because when you go to mandamano mm -hmm. the day the business will not open mm -hmm. it will be disrupted totally mm -hmm. people will they will be rioting because let me tell you one thing in Kenya demonstration can never be peaceful mm -hmm. as even this one you normally see people at they are going to table a uh, uh, a bill or what in a parliament mm -hmm. about to do what i don't know how it is called it the activists are moving to the parliament you just hear from nowhere there are tear gas the everything kineri komondi you have seen those <laughs> okina yes kineri komondi all the time they are trying to assess the parliament mm -hmm. tear gas some of them are arrested mm -hmm. and these people who are arrested are the youth mm -hmm. you see and the, the people who wanakula hiyo tie gas ni wale mama zetu madada zetu wameenda pale town kujitafutia mtu amefungua kashop kake pale town you see mm -hmm. anajikuta kwa mess yenye hata yako ametarajia mm -hmm. some end up closing their businesses because how marioters when you wanasema atao na demonstrate peacefully ndio watakuja watakuibia because after all akimaliza hiyo maandamano he's going home Mhm. Mm Hana kitu anaenda nayo nyumbani. So he'll just atakushika na hiyo kabeti kako atakunyang'anya kwa kasimu kako na tupesa hiyo mm -hmm. fifth bume safe mm -hmm. ataenda nayo. Mm -hmm. And you'll have nothing to do. Okay. And those leaders will do nothing. Okay. And at the end of the day Thank you will have solved nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just violence. Yes. Yeah. Just violence. So let's just find a, a best way to handle these things. Mm -hmm. Whether it's just thumping 
from the the government and from the opposition mm. wanasema maandamano it will not help let those people come together mm -hmm. sit together agree yeah. you see not to stimulate everything okay yes. thank you <laughs> we really really have to conclude this although it's been such a riveting conversation i do quite look forward to these talks i really do please do tell us what you think at white five on facebook white five four channel on twitter hashtag of the days mcm or why in the morning because your thought counts and fun fact the his excellency the deputy president I think the first couple of hours after the first ever Mandamano, he said we lost as a country billions in shillings. Can we afford to do that again? Hmm? Don't go away. <laughs>